We're going to show proper adjustment of the hold down assembly on Piranha Iron Worker they, uh, for the shear and for the angle. They, uh, we're going to start with the angle section, they, uh, showing how to properly adjust the angle block so that it comes down to hit the table evenly. They, uh, when it needs to hit square, they uh, come down and make sure both sides touch the table at exactly the same time. They, uh, when you're getting ready to do this, they, uh, there's two types of hold down pins. This is a newer machine, so it's got the three hole adjustment. When you adjust this one, you want to make sure that it's in the middle, the uh, straight up position. The older style machines will just have a straight through pin with no adjustment there. Uh, nothing to worry about on that. On both machines, over on the swing bolt, that coupling nut there, you want to bring it down and put it just flush with the top of the swing bolt. Make sure the hold down's up against it there. And now you're ready to adjust the hold down block. Start the machine up. Run it down and watch the angle block as it comes down into the table. And make sure that it hits both sides of the table at exactly the same time as it comes down. If it doesn't, you can use the... This style's a newer style, so it's got the threaded pins with the nylocks on the top that allow you for adjustment. Pull the block side to side, depending on which side is hitting first. The older machines will have chrome caps that you remove and have a socket head bolt that runs down from the top for the adjustment. Adjustment procedure is the same. We've got the urethane hold down here for the shear section. The, uh, up above, and this one again, the adjustable hold down for three positions. Allows for the three different thicknesses of plate. Quickly adjust the hold down. Once you get that close, you will need to fine tune it with the nut over here on this side on the swing bolt. You want to make sure that it comes down evenly across that section there to firmly clamp the plate. But yeah, you want to make sure that it's completely and firmly clamped down underneath the hold down before starting any shear procedure, no matter which section of the machine you're on. Here you can see he's adjusted it to the lower position there. Bring down to make sure that it firmly clamps the material down before the blades hit the material. 